Adi, as usual, reminded me what, to, what we should do today because I didn't know if we were all going to have a chess class or something else and not just a chess class. Continuing mating too. Very correct, Adi. So, our first position on the board. White is to play and somewhat I'm quite certain that if this was a normal game, everyone would have played bishop take rook super fast. Or might think about it. But we know that there is a little bit more. Okay, Sid is making his way in super speed. And we need to find checkmate in two moves for white. And remember, no three moves, no four moves. If, if, you, if you can win a game by using more moves, that's perfectly okay. But when you have a puzzle that says specifically checkmate in two moves, anything other than that is wrong. So why to play checkmate in two moves? How does white play in checkmate in two moves? In this, well, we're going to see two important checkmate patterns here. Yes? Um, bishop b7. And what are the checkmates after bishop b7? Um, where, where are we threatening the checkmates? To which squares? We, we will speak like chess players, right? The queen moves to where? You s bishop b7? To, uh, a7. And? And, and there's another checkmate. Queen a8 instead of queen a8. So that is perfect move. And the queen is threatening checkmate on a7 and a8. Right? We, instead of saying the queen moves up, which is totally correct, I know that your answer was perfect, but we should also speak like chess. Queen a7 or queen a8, both of them are checkmates. So if the queen takes the knight, okay, now, no, no queen a7, it's not protected, but queen a8. And if we eliminate the bishop, either with the black's bishop or with the king, in either way, this is checkmate, right? And it's mainly because the rook is preventing the king too from escaping. Okay, why to play? Adi, do you think you know, or you know that you know? You think you know? Okay, what do you know? Why yeah. to play? Okay. That's okay, start, check. How many moves does black have? One. So super forcing, right? Not forcing, but super forcing. One move. And now? Knight E7. Very good. No, or, or, or what? Yes, what all? Rook C8. Really? <laughs> Are we certain about Rook C8? Uh, oh, no. Or tiny less certain? Why, why not? Hey, will the knight, will the, I, I, if after Rook C8, Bishop take his 97 checkmate? No. no. Exactly, it's like every, every extra word that you say takes of what someone said before. Right, it should be, but very nice, because after the bishop take, suddenly this direction is open for the queen. Okay, that, this, this was really, really straightforward. Okay, let's look at the next one. Alrighty, why to play, checkmate in, two moves. Yes? Can you, can you, can you 
to a queen onto d8, and then you Black has one move, right? You move the rook first to g8. But if you move the rook to g8, black can take it. Or he doesn't have to. I mean, he, yeah. No, but, but, but it, if you play this, black is just going to take. Which move? Which rook do you want to move to? To here after it? Close. Yes. Queen takes d8 check. King takes d8. Rook f8 checkmate. Right. Right. Very good. Now, first of all, if a queen goes to a square that there is a piece, we always have to say capture, because if not, mm, there is a something there, so you are replacing it. So queen captures rook. All right. Now, here is the big thing. The rook on g7 is guarding the seventh rank or second rank, so the king cannot cross. And this is basically checkmate on checkmate on the back rank, right? It doesn't matter if there were two pawns here and the king could not escape, or a knight and a rook, the king could also not escape. Or even if this bishop would not be here, if the bishop is not here actually, then black can block, right? That's why they put the bishop here. This is checkmate on the back rank. And very important, there was no way for black to avoid it. For example, would this be checkmate in two moves? Not at all. The, by the way, here is a great example. Would this be checkmate in two moves? Not at all. Would this be a good move? Excellent, because the king cannot take it, checkmate. And after this, what would be a good move to continue? Just so we see. Yes? Queen takes d7 check. Queen and knight. Don't forget about those bishops in the game. I think, for example, check and going to win the game. Two move checkmate. Two move checkmate. But the question, if it is, if it's black to play, what would black play here? If it's black to play, what would black play here? Take the queen, you know? Take the queen is a good move and winning the game. But almost always people, young kids, cannot resist taking the queen. Cannot. But is knight h3 checkmate better than taking the queen? In both situations you would win the game, but it's really important to <gasps> take a deep breath whenever we can take the queen. Sometimes it will cost you a game, for quite for certain. You will take a queen and get checkmated, probably more than one time. But then you will study. But it's good. Take the queen is a winning. But black has checkmate in one, so we know that our job with white is to checkmate in two moves. So white has to checkmate in two moves here. Yes, Sid? Queen to where? But, but how come queen d8 is going to be a checkmate? Well, wh why would queen d8 lead to a checkmate at all? Right, because if he takes the knight, does he have to take? No. So, why would it be checkmate? I know that how many, 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 I could say many for until we finish the lecture and then a bit more. Kids like to think that way. I will play a move and my opponent will take the knight. So if that is the situation, I could go here. He would take checkmate. I would go anywhere that's protecting the knight. But why would the opponent take? It's such important concept to understand the opponent. He's not there to help you, right? He will play any other move other than take. He can checkmate you in one move. You can just do any other thing. You need to find checkmate in two moves. Queen takes a7 check. Knight takes a7. Rook takes a7. And then knight b6 checkmate. What type of checkmate is that? Do we know? Very good. Right? Very, very good. Now, the more the 
bigger pattern for that would be, for example, this position. Why to checkmate in two moves? Yes? Um, queen g8. Queen g8. Excellent job. This is the classical pattern of checkmating of smarter's mate. But we can actually take this pattern many more moves. For example, let's say that this was the position. We know how to checkmate here, right? We're going to give check. If he takes, check. Now we will go to checkmate on the back rank. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm not saying this. I'm just showing the pattern. King mo goes here. Now we have a double check. He has to go. And once again, checkmate in four moves. Alrighty. Why to play? Checkmate in two moves. Okay, thank you. All right. Queen takes f7. Okay, you know, we do it two, three, four yeah. times. It will be automatic. Nice. Queen takes f7. Wait, wait. Black will play. Black will play to move to king h8. Okay, we don't need to move the pieces, right? We'll do it now in our head. King, queen take f7. The king has to go to the corner, king h8, and then... Um, knight to g6. Exactly. Check. One move, checkmate. Okay, those are tiny bit too easy for all of you. Okay, we'll get tiny bit more challenging ones. What's to play? You know? But the king can take it, no? The knight? Knight here? 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 Yeah. F6. Yeah. Right? Okay. Knight captures F6, right? Mm -hmm. You see if you will tell it one speak like this? How would I know? Knight captures F6. What would black play? Black has one move, right? Oh, yeah. move. Yes, Isabel. Only move because it's double check, right? Can we capture in double check? No. Can we block in double check? So king goes to there, and now no move. <laughs> All right, that's a checkmate pattern. It's very kind of cool how a knight like controls everything, and the rook controls the other square, and the king is just just oh. just checkmated in the corner just by knight end. And the rook. Like, okay, checkmate in two now. <laughs> like I put all the pieces in, something seems like. This is a hard one. A hard one, it's like a magician one. Isabel, do you have one? What? Rook G7. Okay, black has two possibilities, right? So you need to tell me what happens in both possibilities. Let's start if he moves his king to E8. Any check on the file is going to be checkmate. Perfect. And the other possible move is capture. Then what, Isabel? Um, oh. 
Yes? Two reasons why no. One, the knight can capture it, right? No, no, the pawn on c6. Then the king will capture the rook. Uh, no. Who is protecting the rook? Who? Oh. Yes? Queen d4. Check. We have to think about, you see, this, this is why those, why and what those puzzles are teaching you. Rook g7 is perfect, but there are two possibilities for black, right? King e8, you're perfect, but what if king f7, what, what if there was a pawn on c5, then there was no queen d4? Then maybe it's a wrong move, right? Second thing, when we suggest queen take d6 checkmate, this is something for all of you in a game to think. When you tell yourself checkmate, and I've seen some kids tournament, one kid tell the other checkmate, and okay, and there is no checkmate on the board. I've seen many or heard about many, many, many games that kids resign, his opponent play a move that is check here. Like something like this. You play this, no, many. And one kid thinks it's a checkmate. No, not, not God forbid, like trying to fool his opponent. Really thinks it's a checkmate. Look at his opponent, say checkmate. The other one looks at the board, say, oh, okay, shaking hands. And it's not. Well, uh, not once, not twice, many, many, many times it happened. What, 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 what should we study from that? When you think it's a checkmate, when you really think it's a checkmate, doesn't matter if you, preferably you're checkmating your opponent, but doesn't matter. Seriously, ask yourself quietly, but in your head, okay, is there any way to capture the queen that's threatening check? No. Is there any way to block? No. Is there any way to move the king, including capture? Just move the king out of the check. Yes. Right. Actually, I forgot. I didn't even. I was so. I was so much about that. I did. Okay. Wait. I'll put this one here for you. You see? All right. No way to capture the queen. <laughs> but you know, my point was, I wasn't even actually seriously. I, I, I didn't see that side of the board. But it doesn't matter. Once you have one of those right, you don't need to ask anymore. It's not a checkmate. Once, once you get one of those, okay, I can move the king, but thank you, you're right. Once you get one of those right, that's it. And it's really important, I'm telling you super seriously, you play a game, and if your opponent say checkmate, you don't have to believe it. I mean, maybe he's right, okay, you look, you check, I cannot move, I cannot capture, I cannot block, okay, it's checkmate, good game, or you checkmating. You know that there is checkmate in two moves here. And you know that your opponent can play whatever crazy move just to give a check, and then it would not be checkmate in two moves. Yeah. So you have to find something super forcing check. Yeah. But in a game, can you think that way? No. Does someone hold the sign in a game and telling you checkmate in two moves? No. OK. You're not going to believe it. You know, if, if you come, I, I can tell you for myself. I looked at some positions. And wow, they are complicated. And I look like, let's say, for whatever time, and they are not so easy for me. Whatever. Then, listen to that, Adi. I look at the position, and it's not clear to me. Then I click on the computer to see what the computer's thinking. And the computer shows white is winning. I don't even see, I, I don't look at the line that white that he's saying. I don't. Just the fact that the computer telling me white is winning, I go back and I find it in half a second, half a minute. Seriously, I know, so I, wh what does it tell me? It tells me that the line that I was looking before, and I said maybe it's not clear, I need to look one or two steps further and see a win, most likely. Just someone hinting, and that's, you know Kasparov once said, that if you take any grandmaster, I think it's tiny bit too much, but you take any grandmaster, or more or decent grandmasters, and you allow them to use a computer three times in a game, they will play like world champions. This is why puzzles, I always compare it to this way. When I put a position and tell you what is the topic of the puzzle, it's like there is some big field here, and I'm telling you there is a treasure, and you should start digging on the right corner. 
not only I tell you there is a treasure, but I tell you also where to dig. Checkmate in two moves. If I just put a puzzle, it means I tell you this is the field, there is a treasure. Well, maybe it's a fork, maybe it's a pin, start digging here. In a game, I tell you, hey, this is a field, maybe you have a treasure, maybe not, start digging, have fun. That's the big difference. That's why puzzles are much easier. It's like, like in every sport, like, okay, if you are shooting to the basket, or shooting to the basket when there are 30,000 people screaming against you two seconds to the end of the game when you have to make a shot, right? So that's why we have to make so many puzzles, so, so many, that it becomes kind of a routine, a pattern, easy for us. In a game, nobody is holding a sign, never. Okay, now, checkmate in two moves, and what you said before is going to be also right here. Isabel, do you know? You think you know? You know you know? Okay, what do you know? Look at the seven. King G7 only move? Nine. Right. And right again, Adi strategy is making it easier to that puzzle. Because if white doesn't play a check, and white actually has one check in the position, it doesn't matter where black is going to check. Black can play queen H1 check. It's just not going to be checkmate in two moves. Doesn't matter. Now actually I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so this is the answer that Isabel suggested, which is correct. Now I have a question. Let's say white played this move. Black, here yeah, I'll flip the board to make it easy. Black to checkmate in three moves. Black to check, are you certain you know black to checkmate in three moves? Certain or not certain? Um, Almost certain? Okay. King H1. King G1. I'm certain that you have it. Very good. Yeah. And very good. And you know this pattern and you answered s very good. Check. The king cannot escape, right? Here, we took away this escape square for the king. And now this crucial check continuing to take away the escape square for the king because after this move, this is our checkmate. And that's why we need the bishop here. Excellent job, dude. White to play. Right to play and checkmate in two moves, it's a bit tricky. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, 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 no, no, you're totally right. And white queen is under attack. See, do you think you know? Wait, okay, uh, you will answer first, I just want to give two, one, two more minutes for everyone. Two moves, two moves, two moves. White. 
It's not, you, are you thinking about Uke Fate? Are you thinking about Uke Fate? That you said, why check me tonight? No, there is no. But which movie you're thinking for, White? Um, rock. F8? No, uh, yeah, but it's not Trick Me. That's what I said. It, I know what you're thinking, but you're overlooking King E7. No? See it? Do you see checkmate in two moves? No more. Yes? Rook to d7 check. King e, uh, King goes to e8, then Reynolds. I just don't think that one. But there are many reasons why not. Let's see. King can go to g8. Oh. And if you go here and now you want to protect it, I can block, I can move. Many, many, many reasons why not. Important. Yes? Okay, rook to f8, but then I'm going to play king e7. No checkmate in two moves. Yes? Knight goes to f8. Knight goes to... But here, here immediately, without, without thinking half a move more, <coughs> I'm going to use Adi's strategy. Check. You're going to move your king? Okay, you play two moves. It's not checkmate. Because it's checkmate in two, you cannot allow the opponent to check you. Yes? So, queen captures the bishop. Knight capture, or did we see that the knight can capture? Queen captures the bishop. Okay, I will capture your queen. That's what we overlooked, right? But also, if I don't capture, it's no checkmate. Like, you can capture here. It's not a checkmate. Okay, one more move. If white queen will get to e8, is it checkmate? Do we know? I, th I think I know the answer. What is it? Knight to g5 check. Exactly. H take, or or H take or queen take doesn't matter, and in queen both. Queen to e8 so you know, sometimes when it's not that easy to solve, we need to ask ourselves where the pieces will be for it to be <laughs> checkmate. Seriously, like, like you know, you put puzzles. Pieces on a, well, it's a chess puzzle, but like pieces, okay, if the queen is here and the rook is here, it's checkmate, can I get it? Look, if the queen gets to e8, it's checkmate. We have to get there by force, if not, check, check. Only knight to g5 is gonna, is a check that pa allows us to go to e8. Pays the way for the queen to go to e8. Why to play and checkmate in two moves? <coughs> We know? Fast? Yeah. Okay, I will let you answer, but, but I want to see more hands, okay? Let me just see. Okay. Two more minutes, we'll let everyone think, and then we can speak. All right. You can tell me. Um, Black has two possibilities, right? He can take the rook or he can play b5, right? B5, 
Excellent job. Perfect. And doesn't matter which one. Very good. Very, very good. And the same. Yeah, this why B4 is not working because it allows the king to capture. But this is just beautiful. Very good. Mm -hmm.